when those two forces start to unify, the more you can feel yourself in that, the more you can feel what's going on in the world around you because you're perceiving where you are and you're moving in harmony with it. Now, the, somebody else fire, people get panicked and do stupid things, but in a good state of being, you, that's just the way you do it. When somebody asks you what time it is, you don't say eggplant. You know what I mean? You, you kind of, you hear the message and you respond to the message that's being shared. However, what usually happens is you want to say whatever you want to say in spite of whatever they have to say. And not only that, but you think it's much more important that they listen to you than that you listen to them. And that says to me, your front half, it's good. You ever been to a meeting where everybody's talking at once? No. Or have you ever been to a meeting where everybody knows something needs to be said, but... <laughs> All right, but there's a space where you're there in the room when it's your time, when the space is right, you say what needs to be said as appropriately as you can, you know, it just... Now, if you get out of sorts, you start to get a little... All, all that, you become stupid. And I think there's actually, I was watching the FBI negotiators, they go, 31% stupider if you, whatever, under stress and all that. But, and you all know this stuff. And you all know the stuff about hitting the golf ball a little firmer. A uh, little firmer. Stay there. I, um, the command, the command is fetch and hold. Okay. <laughs> I can't help it, Bob was a dog trainer, that's how we learned. <laughs> All right, so if you start to feel your strength coming on, my guess is your presence has gone away. And that's the time to come back into your presence because Whatever they're saying, it's just a simple question, basically, or at least it's a direct question. And even if you can't, like, answer it right away, this state is still what's important. Don't ever give up this relationship to whatever you want to call it, your inner teacher, or your higher self, or your connection to the universe, your universal self, or the spirit that breathes you. <laughs> And the question is, why don't you grab, kind of hold a little firm now. The question is, are we able to connect with that system? Uh, is that, take a real deep breath right now and breathe out. Is that us breathing or now listen to the impulse to breathe and let it guide your motion? Right? It's a very different process that's going on there.